So here we are today. We are going to be assembling the Infinity Luminary Massage Chair. It comes in three separate boxes. You have the uh, main center part on the very bottom. Here's the weights. Your gross weight in the box is about 300 pounds. And then you have the little leg rest part right here in a separate box. It weighs 68 pounds in the box. 60 net weight. And then you have the side panels. These are the arms in the third box. And this weighs about 60 pounds in the box. Um, Infinity brand is from Seabrook, New Hampshire. And we are going to have my assembly guys, Jose and Raul, put this together. We're going to unbox it and then assemble it. And this is exclusively coming to you from Massage Chair Planet. We have a parts box, which we'll save until later on, but this will be the remote control stand. This is your little panel display and the panel holder. And then you have your power cord and they even give you a tool, a Phillips head screwdriver, probably to assemble the arms with. And you can see how well it's packed. You have a lot of heavy duty styrofoam all four sides and then you also have plastic look at this bubble look at this thing it's like a pillow <laughs> so full protection for transit our luminaries the brown color You see all the bubble wrap protecting the sides. Even though you had all the styrofoam, so it's heavy duty stuff too. So now they're just going to take the main body of the chair and they're going to take it out of this box and then place it on the floor next to it. So it's pretty easy. They're almost all the same. The infinity chairs, you have the leg rest that's going to mount to this very front part. Then the side panels are going to get mounted to the side right here. You always have these little air and electrical connections on the side. And that's so that the remote control can tell each arm for the airbags to inflate, deflate. And now we're going to open up our side panel box and put the side panels on. Okay, so we took the side panels out of the box, unpacked them, and what you'll see over here is you have the uh, little bolts to bolt on the arm. So it looks like there's two bolts per arm. And then you have the screwdriver, and here's what the arms look like before they're put on. So on the inside of the arm, you have the air tube connection and the two pin connectors. And they're gonna go right into here on the chair. And it's real easy. It like slides into place, the side panel. And then here's when you're sitting in at the left side panel. So you can see how it has the wireless charging. It has a little hole to mount the panel, the screen. You have a little USB for charging your cell phone or any device. And the inside of this will have the same connections down there. Electrical, the air tube, and then it gets connected to the chair side over here. And they will be putting these on momentarily. And then here's your leg rest. And the leg rest is very easy. 
to put on the chair as well. So you can see how all the connections are protected with bubble wrap. And there's your connectors, you have an air tube and you have electrical. And then right on the front of the chair, you have the electrical and the air tube right above it, letter G. And then right under here, under the seat, this is where the leg rest is going to connect. All right, so here we go. So the first thing that Jose is going to do is going to put in the electrical, the DIN connection. And that goes in and snaps into place. And there's a smaller one. And that clicks in and then you have to do the air tube. So three connections on the side. And this is a little close quarters because we now don't have much room because of the wires and the hoses. So we are going to now put the side panel on and slide it into place. two bolts for each side and we just line it up in the front I think the easiest thing is we get it started with the finger and then we'll use their screwdriver to finish it and tighten it and then once we get this one now we're going to work on the one a little bit Below. So I just want to stand corrected on the uh, assembly. The each arm, each side panel only has one bolt, which is right in the front. I'll show you on this one. So here's the other panel that he didn't put on yet. It's only one hole. So you have these little brackets right here, and these metal brackets, and this right here. Okay, they hook onto the chair right here. So, and then the one lower one will hit the frame right there. But there's only one bolt that's gonna come through and it'll come through like this hole right here where you see my finger at on the side. Okay, so that's what we did on that side and now we're gonna do the uh, left one as you're sitting in it. So they give you two extra bolts. We were kind of thrown off by that, but true story. Okay, so we have the electrical connections here. Push those in until it clicks into place. It's a soft click. And then the third thing is the air hose. Just gets pushed on to the male end as far as you can go with it. You need a good seal, so you have to push it in nice and far. So now, like I said, those metal brackets on the side panel are going to go right on top of that frame. And the one on the bottom sits on the other one. And then we just have one bolt to hold the arm in right at the front. That little cord is for the remote panel. So we just brought that up through here just so you could see. And then we're going to eventually mount the panel to that little hole. So Hold now, on. we're just going to put that bolt on that arm right here, through that hole. Okay, so now that is complete. You could see the bolt going through there, and that holds that other panel on. And now they are going to put the leg rest on. So there's a clip on the end of the area where you're going to slip the leg rest on, right below the seat pad. So, just use a screwdriver and you just pry it off the edge. Sometimes things are easier said than done, but eh, not in this case. And the same thing on the other side. So now they're both off. So let's see the clips. So this is what they're going to look like. Yeah, it's one clip on each side. Okay, that's going to go back on after we slip the leg rest over the hole. So 
we're going to make our connections here. We have both the electrical DIN plug and then we have the air hose. As you can see, we just slip these onto the posts. There it is, right through the hole. And now the clip that we took off is going to go right back on to keep it in place. That's the one side. And there's a clip for the other side. Now they're both on, so it's not going to fall off the post. And our electrical is all set. And now we just uh, are going to zip the lower part of the leg rest to the seat cushion. There we are. So now it looks like one piece. And that's it. We're pretty much done. All we're going to do now is we're going to mount the display, the tablet holder, which just screws on that little hole like so and then the tablet will sit in the holder and it'll plug into that little cord that came up from the side well it's nice it doesn't just push together but it also screws together so it won't fall apart there we are and then our last step will be really just to put the power cord onto the back, plug it in. We turn the power on, then it'll come to the upright position. As you can see right now, it's in the lay flat position for the back. So that's it, right back here. We plug the power cord in. And by the way, these are all computer power cords. So a lot of PCs, uh, desktop PCs have the same type of cord and then you have a switch off to the right that orange power switch So if you're ever going away on vacation or leaving the house for a long period of time You could turn the power to the chair off um, You could even unplug it from the wall if you want to be really cautious um, That's it. So we're gonna put it in place in our lineup and then I will show you how it will go up to the upright position after we get it there so one other thing I want to make mention of where the owner's manual is and with that, there's some fuses that you'll see right here. And these are extra fuses that Infinity gives you. And uh, these fuses are used in the back of the chair where I showed you where that power went into it. Um, in case they ever blew for any reason, they give you two extra. So I've never had it happen to me where I had to put a new fuse in a chair, but um, I know where the little hole is where you unscrew it, put the fuse in if you need to. Okay, so the chair, just so you know, it weighs 330 pounds out of the box. Um, there are wheels on the very far back where you could lift up the leg rest area or lift up the chair by the side panel. And that'll engage the rear, rear wheel. So this is how it was when we first assembled it. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna hit the power button here. And now it's lighting all up. And then we hit it one more time. And you could see how it's now gonna to come to the upright position. Okay, and then what we could do is we can hold the button in for three seconds because it thinks that we want to start a program and we don't want to start a program. We want to just turn it off and when you turn it off, it comes to the upright and then it will power off automatically.
There you are. You can see kind of from this angle. Now it's in the upright position. And now it's gone back because it moves away from your wall. So you can see how now it's moving back towards the wall because it's parking itself in its neutral position. You can see it's sliding all the way back on its base. And this chair, I believe you could have it like one inch away from the wall like this and it's still going to go all the way back into the full zero gravity and recline position. And that is the full video on how to assemble the Infinity Luminary Massage Chair. Hopefully you like this video and you give us a thumbs up. Um, thank you for watching the Massage Chair Planet assembly video. Don't forget if you have any questions you could always give us a call as well at 888-346-3220. Thanks for watching.